Welcome back. More than 145 million Americans now live in a state where marijuana is legal. However, at the federal level, it is still illegal, and many veterans who use cannabis say that's impacted their ability to get proper treatment at a federal letter level like the VA. Our Joe St. George takes a closer look at the legalization fight and why some veterans do believe that new changes in research will soon convince skeptical lawmakers. Also super earthy. This one's pretty earthy. If you go to a dispensary in a state where cannabis is legal, it can get complicated quickly. Coating that you see, those are the THC crystals on this flower. Stores don't just sell one type of marijuana anymore, they sell many. It's a completely different industry today than it was even 10 years ago. Justin Henderson runs Peak Dispensary in Colorado and says different variants achieve different goals. It's almost like a pharmacy. You know, we don't claim to be doctors, but we are pretty good at this. While cannabis strains have changed a lot recently, cannabis policy nationwide has not. The drug is still classified as an illegal narcotic at the federal level, and for years the only type of cannabis that could be studied and researched by the federal government were strains actually grown by government-employed researchers. Numbers don't lie. But Brian Buckley says that is about to change. He runs the Battle Brothers Foundation in Southern California, and for the first time ever, he says, the federal government is showing a willingness to study the marijuana that people are actually buying. That is often stronger than the kind that researchers have previously been looking at. The bipartisan infrastructure bill contained a key change, and his organization has already obtained the permits to conduct the research. Accurate studies using real-world cannabis, he says, is the first step to changing minds. When you see the data and what it produces and the results it has, they're not going to be able to deny it. Why is Buckley so passionate? Well, he's a veteran with PTSD himself. He uses the drug when he needs to and has felt the impact of it being illegal when he goes to the federally run VA. Sometimes doctors there can be leery. They're in a very tricky spot, and I've had a lot of VA doctors off the record tell me we really hope this research are doing work. The debate over marijuana is expected to intensify in the coming weeks as the Senate prepares to debate even more reforms. Back at the dispensary, Justin says, it's about time. I've been disappointed by by the bureaucrats for a long time. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George. All right, thank you, Joe. And coming up on News 5 today, we